Elsewhere, Rift Valley Parliamentary Group Caucus is currently holding a meeting amidst reports of cracks within the ruling Jubilee Party. The caucus chairman, Senate Majority Leader Kipchumba Morkomen, has admitted cracks in the party and blamed some individuals at the office of the president of straining the relationship between the head of state and his deputy. Our political affairs reporter Jeff Kirina joins us live from Western Hotel, where that meeting is currently underway. Jeff, good evening. What can you tell us so far? Well, uh, well, a very good evening, Ben. At, uh, the, the, at about 7 in the evening, uh, the members of parliament from the Rift Valley started streaming in here at the hotel. And the main, the main agenda of the meeting, of course, is the sentiments of uh, Senate Majority Leader Kitumba Murkomen that there are cracks within Jubilee Party. And, of course, accusing some of the, uh, some of, uh, uh, leaders in President Uhuru Kenyatta's circles of undermining the deputy president. Yesterday, uh, Cherangani Member of Parliament, Joshua Kutun, said that uh, they will be convening today to reconsider uh, the position of Kipchumba Murkomen as the chairman of the Rift Valley Leaders Caucus. And that is just part of the agenda of the meeting today. Remember, they have also been pushing uh, pull within members of uh, Jubilee from the Rift Valley. There are some members accusing Kipchumba Murkomen of fueling the disquiet within Jubilee Party. And then there are some who are saying that there could be issues within the party, but it just shows how democ uh, democratic the party is. Of course, we wait to see what the resolution from this meeting is. Uh, there have been reports as well that uh, so a member of parliament, uh, Caleb Kositan, could be the one who is being fronted to take over that position of the chairman of that particular caucus of MPs from Rift Valley. Kiptumba Murkomen has been under fire as well regarding the lifestyle audit after his sentiments that it could be used as a political weapon, uh, of course, targeting some of the politicians, saying that they need, there is need to be a legal, to be anchored uh, on a, a legal framework before that happens. But some of the members actually have accused him of undermining the president and giving directives uh, opposite of what the president is giving. And they are now calling for him to, uh, to resign in that position of the Senate my Majority Leader, Ben. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff Kirui, the our political affairs reporter, joining us live from Western Hotel, keeping an eye on things during that parliamentary uh, group caucus meeting. We shall be keeping an eye on that uh, development for you. Right, let's now 